We, I what do you have? Um, I should have asked because it's just fruity. You, what would you name it? This one? Yeah, taste it. I just, I'm getting like fruit orchard over there. The death of me. <laughs> I don't know. I feel pretty. Goodbye, rough. everybody. Goodbye, and that's a wrap. start with the cheers. Fine, we just uh, yeah. chose our own adventure, but we don't quite know what our drinks are. This so. is a good gig for you, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pretty good gig for you too, huh? Yeah, but how often do you drink on the show? Well, I don't really want to admit that. Never! This Especially tastes like a, like a fruit punch, and that's why it's the death of me, because I'll just drink it like fruit punch, and then... Uh, 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 <laughs> it's like a high C from school, but with extra There's stuff There's a few blueberries added. in it, so it's healthy. That is just my motto. I get all my nutrients from cocktails. Yes. So this is like a tiny microcosm of what you do. You get to travel around the world, go to yes. some of the most interesting places. Somebody has to. And it's you. Yes. And I feel like you eat some of you eat the best food and also some of the most outrageous. Then yeah. you would call that a dream life. Like, is this your dream job? Yes. It took about, you know, it's not easy to get that job. It took me about 10 years. But now it's a combination of everything I love with everything I know how to do. Like I know how to make a show. If it's food, friends, family, travel, laughs. It's a perfect fusion. It's, I love it. How, where love was it. that idea born? How did it get to this place? That's a good question. Um, early uh, in Raymond, mm -hmm. I asked Ray what he was gonna do on his hi first hiatus. Okay. Where are you going, I said. He goes, eh, I go to the Jersey Shore. Okay. Right? And I said, well, that's nice. That's so you ever special. been to Europe? And he goes, nah. I said, why not? He goes, oh, I'm not really interested in other cultures. Okay. Right? And I said, here's an idea. Light We're bulb. gonna do an episode where we send him to Italy as him and we bring him back as me. As someone you. who's more excited about a zest for life traveling. and travel. So I write this script and what I saw happen to the character, the arc of the character in the episode, I saw happen to the person. Oh, that's powerful. And that's powerful. when the real light bulb went off. I love doing that for people. I love turning you on to travel. I think the world would be better if we all could experience a little bit of someone else's experience, Most right? Certainly. Yeah. When you're exposed, you realize that we're all really not that different. We have a lot more in common than not. I feel like I saw one episode, you ate an egg, what looked to me yeah. like it was rotten, and you yes. popped that thing in your mouth the way I pop Oreos in my mouth. Yes. That was bold. You know why I did that? Why? I'm not really smart. <laughs> it's called the century year old egg. It's no, not it's really a hundred okay. years old, okay. it just tastes that way. The white part is brown, the yolk part is like a bluish green. The first thing you taste is really, really rotten egg. And then this wave of ammonia <laughs> hits you like a tsunami and you think you're gonna die. Has food always been a passion like this? Because you sound passionate as you talk about it. <laughs> is it always, like, were you a picky eater as a kid? I what was, did that look like? I was. My mother and father can't believe I do this now because they say, you never ate anything. You oh, never you ate anything we ever gave you. And I say, maybe it was the cook. Wow, you were just all out there, huh? With, is there, um, your mom knows how you feel. She does. Mm -hmm. She also knows that I'm kidding yeah, a little. And she probably has other She makes strength. a very good soup. She makes a very good matzo ball soup. I'm probably gonna feature it. I'm gonna film in New York, and I'm gonna go to her kitchen, and we're gonna show mom oh, making fantastic. her one good thing. Her one, yeah. You were here, you, well you're in Austin quite often, but one of the events is the ATX TV Festival. Yes. And I'm sure people must just like, mods to a flame want to talk to you because you have such amazing experiences. What kind of things do they ask you when you get to be up close and personal with all these TV appreciators? Now, where should we eat? Oh, That's so they go they straight to me. the source, yes, huh? I'm, yeah, but I'm happy to tell them. Yes. I, I love this place. Peach I was tortilla. here, this is fantastic. Well, that works out well. The TV Fest, I know they're asking about food now, but let's say they were asking you about creating a show, yeah. what kind of, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? That's a great question and I have a great answer. Ooh. I got a great, Let it the happen. best quote, the best advice I ever got about anything from anybody was, do the show you want to do because in the end they're going to cancel you anyway. Preach. That's fantastic advice. That's Ed Weinberger, a famous showrunner uh, from the Mary Tyler Moore show and Taxi. He said that. Wow. And. You know, that's not just how to do a show, that's how to live your life. life. We all get canceled one day, right? You might as well do what so you, you love. So you may as well live your life, yeah. 
I love that. Phil, yeah. thanks for sharing that with us. So on your show, you like to help people experience new places, new things, new foods. Yes. So we want you to experience something special at the Peach Tortilla. More than this? It gets more special than the drinks we trade like before, these. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to give up drinking. Okay, well take a sip. Hydrate. I don't have a problem. You know what? We can carry these with us. Have you ever experienced, I don't have a problem. I can stop anytime I want. I just don't want. Have you ever right, experienced a mega milkshake? First have your moment. You combine these two? Well, and then you put ice cream and donuts. You want to give it a shot? What? Yes, let's do it. Are you ready for the milkshake of all milkshakes? I'm a little nervous. Understandably. Are you overstimulated? Yes. Yep. So these like basically went viral after South by Southwest, they were featured at a party, and now they're insta-famous. What's it called? Donut milkshake. So this is on the, the my doctor's uh, plan for me. Yes, I heard that you were on a special diet. A special diet because he doesn't want me to live past 60. Oh, that's more morbid than I was expecting. We're more the joyful diet. You're gonna feel good. So this is the most exciting part. This yes. ice cream is not just any ice cream, it's popcorn flavor. Yeah, that's great. Let's do it. Shall we dive in? And you can just pick the plate up and put them straight in your mouth if you want. That's usually... What if I took a straw and just snorted it? <laughs> well, that's a way to get a lot of energy really fast. Master Donuts? Master Donuts. Master Donuts makes I, the donuts. I would like you to call me that from now on. Perfect. Perfect. Done. Let's go. It does. That's better than it, it has a right to be. Mom, I'm sorry. Go for the gold. That's beautiful. I'm inspired. I really am. Thank you for that. Mm. What do you think? Would you like a napkin, a hose? What would you like? <laughs> Phil, thanks for enjoying these mega milkshakes. I love being with you. I'm, and uh, love having if this you. is how you live, maybe I move here. We welcome you. Austin right. welcomes you. Cheers.